Hello, my name is Mike Bishop and I'm going to be talking about Roman weapons. There were two broad categories of weapon used by the Romans. Those used for hand-to-hand -hand combat and missiles of various kinds that were employed at a distance. The short sword or gladius was the principal weapon for hand-to-hand -hand combat for both legionary and auxiliary infantry. Auxiliary cavalry employed a longer sword, the sparva, giving them the necessary extra reach for a horseman. Finds of swords are rare, but the fittings, whether from the handle assemblies or the scabbards, very common. By the 3rd century AD, the sparva had become the standard sword for both infantry and cavalry. Daggers were used by infantry as a secondary sidearm, although we have only one surviving account of their use in combat. Military daggers are much more familiar in historical accounts as weapons of imperial assassination. The thrusting spear was used by cavalrymen, who also had javelins, but reached its apogee with the two-handed lance, or contos, heavily influenced by contact with mounted eastern foes. Missiles were used by skirmishing troops to harry and provoke an enemy, but also for pursuing a broken foe. For this reason, they were mostly found amongst auxiliaries. Javelin heads are amongst the commonest form of spearhead found on archaeological sites, not only because they were thrown and could be broken, but also because they were collected for repair. Bundles of them were found in the famous Corbridge Horde from Northumberland. A specialised form of missile was the pilum, a heavy javelin used exclusively by legionary infantry. Used at a short range, it had much the same effect as a musket volley in later ages, a charging foe would be cut down and disorganised at the last moment, just in time for the legionaries to draw their swords. The pyramidal head and long iron shank of the pilum was specifically designed to pierce a shield and the warrior behind it. All spears had a ferrule at the end of the wooden shaft. This was a conical spike for spears that might be stuck in the ground, or a fungiform ferrule for javelins. Spear shafts were normally made from coppiced poles of ash or hazel and less than 20mm in diameter for javelins and larger for thrusting spears. The Romans used eastern archers equipped with the composite bow formed from wood, horn and sinew, shooting wooden fletched arrows tipped with iron. A variety of arrowheads are known from the Roman period, including leaf-shaped and bodkin-headed, but the most common was the barbed trilobate tanged arrowhead. Slinging was practised by all soldiers, but took a lifetime of experience for true proficiency. Slings were simple straps with leather pouches, but slingshot could be made of clay, stone or lead. The Roman army was supported by field artillery, some of which shot armour-piercing bolts, whilst others hurled large stones. The first were exclusively anti-personnel weapons, but stones could be used against both bodies of men and defensive fortifications for percussive effect. Catapult bolts, common finds on Roman military sites, had a square sectioned bodkin head and were attached in large shaped wooden shafts with fins on top and to either side. Little survives of the heavy siege equipment for which the Roman army was so famous, wooden towers and rams for example, mainly because they were broken into pieces for transport and only assembled when needed, or even built from local resources.